Hi children, I want to talk to you more about Shavuot, but I want to start with the story of why we received the Torah on Har Sinai. When Hashem was looking for a place to give the Torah to the Jewish people, there were all of these mountains and all the mountains were boasting and bragging. There was one tall mountain that said to Hashem, Oh, I am tall. I am the tallest mountain. You should pick me to give the Torah on. But then there was a small mountain, and that mountain said, Oh, Hashem, you should pick me. I am so beautiful. I have beautiful flowers, and I have grass growing on me. You should probably pick me to give the Torah on. But then there was one mountain, and this mountain said, I am not the tallest, and I am not the prettiest mountain. Hashem probably won't want to give the Torah on me. But you know what? Hashem did pick that mountain, and that mountain was called Har Sinai. And Hashem picked that mountain because that mountain did not brag. That mountain did not boast. That mountain was humble. And because that mountain was humble, he made Har Sinai beautiful by planting flowers on it. And that is why we receive, the Jewish people receive the Torah on Har Sinai. Now there are certain customs that we do on Shavuot. And one of the customs is that we decorate our houses with beautiful flowers. And we decorate our shul with beautiful flowers. That's one custom. Oh, show me two fingers. A second custom that we do is we make and we give Bikurim baskets, the first fruits of the season. Oh, and number three, Hashem gave us the Torah, and we were so happy to get the Torah and the ten mitzvot in the Torah, that Daddy learns Torah all night on Erev Shavuot, the whole night. So don't wake him up on Shavuot, because he learns all night long. He's going to be so tired, Shavuot morning. And what else? What else do we do? We also eat dairy food. And dairy food is made from milk. Where do we get milk from? We get milk from a cow. Now I want you to look. Underneath the cow, a cow has udders. Do you see the udders underneath the cow? And what happens is the farmer milks the cow. He pulls the udders from underneath the cow. Milk, 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 the cow was sitting on a stool, pulling, squirting, pulling, squirting, until the bucket's full. Can we sing that again? Milk, 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 the cow was sitting on a stool, pulling, squirting, pulling, squirting, until the bucket's full. Oh, and remember, what did Hashem give us on Har Sinai. Hashem gave us a present. Do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah so we could keep his laws. He asked the other nations, do you want this gift of mine? But they said, no, thank you for Torah. There's no time. Then to B'nai Yisroel, Hashem did go. They said, Naseh Nishma, because we love him so. Then to B'nai Yisroel, Hashem did go. They said, Naseh Nishma, because we love him so. And there are ten mitzvot that we have to learn, which I told you on the other YouTube video. Now, I want to go over some dairy food that we eat on Shavuot. We drink milk. 
We eat pizza. We eat ice cream. Yummy ice cream. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, all different kinds of, fav of flavors that you like. Oh, macaroni and cheese. Baked ziti. Oh, yummy cheesecake. I love cheesecake. <gasps> I know you like cream cheese on your bagels. Oh, and look, we can put whipped cream on our icing. <gasps> Chocolate milk. Some of you like chocolate milk and chisam busak. I know you like yogurt and butter. Oh, and lasagna. And what else do we have? We have string cheese and there's all different kinds of cheeses that you like. And milk. There's all different kinds of dairy foods that you can tell me about. So we eat dairy food on Shabuot. So we have all these different customs that we do on Shabuot, children. And there's another song that we sing. Chag HaShabuot, Chag HaShabuot, Hine Zeba, Hine Zeba. Chag HaShabuot, Chag HaShabuot, Hine Zeba, Hine Zeba.